Today, I want to talk about the mentality you have to have in order to progress in CSGO. Many of you that are watching this video right now are very low level inside the game. And some of you are silver. Some of you are face at level one, three, five, whatever. Now, what I'm going to teach you today is going to be something that can help you not only in CSGO, but also help you with your life, right? But before we get into the video, I would recommend watching this video above. I'll link you here on uh, how to stop tilting in CSGO and how to have a better mental. Before you watch this video, you need to watch that video to understand, you know, why you have to stop tilting and, and the reasons behind it. But let's get right into this video. So CSGO is actually a very simple game, right? It's not that hard to get better at CSGO. And the reason you can't rank up and you can't progress is because a lot of you are overthinking about the game and not understanding, you know, the importance behind your mental health and the importance behind staying positive and happy within the game, right? Now, if you're going to be solo queuing, you cannot control the people you're getting into a game with. You cannot control what they are doing. But at the end of the day, you can control your own mental. And as long as you are doing everything you can to be a positive teammate and, you know, provide happiness and value to your teammates, you're going to succeed, right? So what does this mean? This means if you have a toxic player on your team, maybe you have to mute him, right? I'm not telling you guys not to mute your teammates or, you know, to just act like people aren't bad people and whatever. But, you know, maybe mute the teammate, right? Now you can't hear him. Now he can't be toxic, but still drop him, right? Someone is TKing you, you're, what are you going to be able to do to stop them from TKing? They just want you to have a reaction and they want you to get upset and angry, right? So instead of just getting upset and angry, just drop the, the person TKing and act like it didn't happen. You know, it's really hard in CSGO when people are trying their best to make you mad and try to troll you. But you just have to do everything you possibly can in order to, you know, have a nice mental and have a mental that is unbroken. A lot of you may not have the actual skill to rank up inside the game, but if you have a strong mentality and you're capable of, you know, being a good teammate, then it doesn't even matter that you don't have the skill to rank up. I'll make lots of videos and I'll make tons of advice on, you know, how to improve inside the game as far as mechanics go and stuff. But I'm telling you guys the most important thing and what sets apart a level one player on face it from a level 10 player, what sets apart a silver one from a global elite is how good that player's mental is. You could have insane aim, but you are just horrible mentally and you just aren't capable of playing with people and you're an awful player. You really are. I, I don't care if you have nuts aim and you're sick at the game. You're never going to get anywhere because nobody wants you to be their teammate. Nobody wants you to play on their team. And at the end of the day, nobody wants to be around a toxic, miserable person, right? And if you don't understand this, if you cannot have a, a good mentality, if you cannot, you know, be a good teammate, then honestly, nobody wants to play with you and you're going to make everyone's life miserable. So what I'm telling you guys is you need to understand that if you're miserable and you're having a bad mental inside CSGO, it's only going to be miserable and no one's going to want to play the game, right? You're going to lose more games than you win, leading you to be even more mad and even more upset. So... You're never going to win every CSGO game. You, you're just not, right? It's not possible. But what I'm telling you guys is if you ever want a future in Team CSGO, you need to understand the value of being positive and kind. When I first started playing this game, I did not understand that concept. I would get into these games and just start yelling and screaming at my teammates because I didn't care. I thought it was funny. You know, I was a toxic, miserable player, and I had no idea that what I was doing was really harming myself. And especially those of you that are playing on Face It and, you know, ESEA or Pugging and stuff like this, how you act is really important because people are going to remember that. If you were being very toxic and, you know, very rude inside a Pug, people will remember that two years later when you're trying to join a team and they don't want you on the team because one of the players had a bad experience, right? So it doesn't matter what level you're at, always make sure that you're positive and, you know, you're, you're just a normal person towards others. At the end of the day, people don't really care if you're super nice and overly nice. They care if you're just a normal person, right? So so don't go out of your way and start saying things that you shouldn't be saying. And guys, you have to remember. You have to remember there is something, somebody behind that, that screen. There's somebody behind that username that you're playing with. So just, just be a normal human and understand that if you ever want to be on a team inside this game, you need to have actual human skills and you need to actually have these this ability to talk to other people and problem solve and communicate effectively so level ones you may be bad at the game silvers you may be bad at the game 
but you can really rank up by you know being a positive light and dropping your teammates and saying nice things and being happy for your teammates when they get a clutch and you know instead of just trolling guys trolling is going to get you nowhere if you want to just mess around and have fun go for it I'm, I'm not telling you guys not to have fun but for those of you that are seriously trying to rank up and get better at this game you're you trolling and you just you know acting like this is is not going to matter and also, guys, you have to realize you're not going to win every game, like I said. There's going to be games where you play against cheaters. There's going to be games where people just leave your team as soon as the game begins to derank. Like, I'm not sitting here telling you that you're going to win every single game. You're not. But if you have a bad mentality, you're just going to let things get to you. And you're not going to understand that over time you're going to rank up instead of just stop worrying about every single game in front of you. If you have a game that's, a, that's chalked and you're going to lose, just say GG go next, man. GG go next. I don't care about this game anymore. We're going to worry about the next game and do everything I can in the next game to make sure I win, you know, that one. You lose that game, oh well, we're going to win the next game. Just worry about one round at a time and one game at a time. Bad players get way too caught up in, oh, I'm on a 10-game loss streak. Well, who cares, man? Just worry about the next game. It doesn't matter that you're on a 10-game loss streak. Nobody cares about your pugs, bro. The only person that cares is yourself. No one... The only person, the, the, the person that's going to be hardest on yourself is is you. You're going to be the hardest on yourself. Nobody really cares that you lost 10 games in a row. They don't. You're the only person in the world that cares. So just forget about it. Act like it didn't happen and focus on the next 10 games. You might lose those. Well, who cares? Worry about the next 10 games. And it's something that when I'm playing the game, I can understand this and realize inside my head. And when you start thinking like that, the game becomes a lot easier because you're not so caught up in what happened in the past. Thinking about the past rounds is only going to make you play worse in the future. You know what I mean? If if you've I I had a I, I played in a tournament this weekend. We ended up winning it and getting first place, right? I had a moment where I could have easily won the round and I just absolutely failed and I absolutely didn't win the round. The the first thing I did, the first thought that went through my head is, okay, how am I going to make this up in the next round? How am I going to play better in this next up, upcoming round and how am I going to win? I ended up playing absolutely incredible that game after that that round where I absolutely failed my team and we ended up winning that game and I dominated. Had I just been sad and caught up on how I failed in the previous round, then we would have lost. I, I would have played miserable, I would have played horrible and you know it would have been really bad for my team. So you just need to have this switch that goes on in your brain and blocks out all that negative emotion and negative attitude that you might have. Because you guys don't realize, especially in Team CS, how you act and how your demeanor is is going to affect the team so much. It's going to impact how your teammates think and how your teammates act. If you are positive and super motivated and you know happy, your teammates are going to be more positive and motivated too. They may not be as happy or motivated as you, but it's at least going to impact their mood. And if it doesn't, then they are just not like good people, I guess. Like they're just not capable of thinking like that. So they're not even good teammates to begin with. So. Just keep that in mind as you're playing, and especially those of you that want to play at a higher level. Just keep it in mind how you know your your attitude really matters, and having a bad attitude is going to get you nowhere in this game, bro. I'm not saying you won't rank up with a bad attitude. I'm not saying you won't join a team, but nobody's going to want to play with you, and at the end of the day, you are going to be absolutely miserable. You you really are, so just keep that in mind, guys. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys follow my socials, subscribe to my YouTube Thank you for listening to this rant. I appreciate all you guys. You guys have a good day and keep grinding.